In the world of motorcycle customization, the BMW K-Series has always been one of those bikes that comes with a dilemma. The cutting of the frame structure in the rear. The common question is, how far should it be cut? If you cut this section only, the transformation will be easier, but the bike's stance will look strange. On the other hand, if you cut beyond this point, you will find hard work ahead, which only a good professional will know how to fix properly. Fortunately, I have good news for all those who are living this dilemma. The perfect seat, which will perform the miracle that most people were looking for. In other words, the aesthetic solution the K100 always needed. Welcome to Racer TV. This is what I call a very successful machine. In fact, this approach is so good, the builder already used it in three different projects. But before we get to that, let's go to the introductions. This machine was baptized as Silverback Gorilla. Built by Two Wheels Empire, located in Lithuania. Matas Ringivisius, also known as Matt, is the founder of the company. And Vidas Mokas is the mechanic who made this beautiful project become a reality. As I mentioned at the beginning, any custom project based on the BMW K series always has a big dilemma. And this beautiful project is the answer that many were looking for. You are probably wondering, in which episode did I use the same sentence? And here it is. At the end of February, I also presented a custom BMW K series. But it was about the K75 model, and not the K100. Nevertheless, the main question is, do these two projects have the same approach? And my best answer is, yes, and no. In what concerns to the level of changes on the frame structure? I should say, yes. The approach is the same. But from the aesthetics perspective, no. It is very different. And it has to be. If we compare the two projects, you will see that the K75's stance looks much lighter and athletic than the K100. This has everything to do with the K100's engine size, and the fuel tank format. Unlike the K75 model, the K100 engine is longer, and it looks visually heavier. Therefore, it requires a different approach. And it is precisely on this point, I think the Two Wheels Empire team, did an excellent job. Because this fiberglass seat, has the perfect shape for the BMW K100. And when I say it has the perfect shape, I really mean it. Because I checked it on Photoshop. Believe it or not, the rear cowl lines are perfectly identical to this fuel tank section. This also explains why it wouldn't look so nice on the K75. As I already said, the fuel tanks are different. It is not by accident, this is Two Wheels Empire's third build, using this same seat. As you can see on these other projects, this is also a good opportunity, to see what works, and what doesn't. On this Martini project, you can see that the front suspension and the air filter box, are still the factory original. But on these two, 
the front forks came from a Suzuki GSX-R, and the air intake manifolds are custom made. And these items make all the difference. In what concerns to the headlight, maybe you think it may be too near to the Street Fighter style. Personally, I think it is also a good choice for the K100. Because it has some angular lines that combine perfectly with the seat and fuel tank. But let's go now to the main question on this project. And which most K100 fans are asking themselves. Is there any chance of buying this seat? The good news is. Yes. You can buy it online. If you check Two Wheels Empire website, you will find it on sale. I left a link on the video description. Another important thing about this project is this tube structure under the rear cowl. The existence of this tube is only an option because the fiberglass seat can be installed without it. But if you look carefully, aesthetically, this tube structure makes an important part on the project. Not only prolongs the mainframe structure, but it also gives some volume at the rear, creating some coherence in the relation between the front and the rear of this motorcycle. It is really impressive to see how this fiberglass seat fits so perfectly on this BMW. And I am not saying this only because of the side profile. The most curious is the fact that this seat looks very good from any angle. Although I don't have intentions on building a K100 custom project. Somehow, I was very happy when I found this project. Thanks to Two Wheels Empire's work. Now we know there is a cafe racer solution. For the BMW K100. Thank you. For watching Racer TV. And as always. I hope to see you on the next video.